Hey everybody, it's Chris, AB7BS, in Eugene, Oregon, allstarnodes.com. This is an update to show what Ed and I have been working on for the last couple of months of changing the radioless adapter to have the Connect LED in the black box instead of inside the Raspberry Pi. My last few videos, which was we're going to call version 1, had a green light that came on inside the Raspberry Pi. That's the clear case down here. Where now we have changed this and we have a two color LED in the radioless adapter box and you can see that it's flashing green and that there's an amber orange. What I'm going to do is yes the node is connected and it is receiving right now that's why the green Receive light is on. It goes red if you're talking. I'll turn it up. There you go. So if I down the connection to simulate, you know, loss of signal or whatever, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a disconnect and then I'm going to hit OK. The Verizon hotspot is disconnecting. OK, it is now gone. It takes the asterisk server 20 seconds or so, roughly, to recognize that the connection is gone because we did not turn it off with the keypad. I killed the internet connection and the nodes that I build are set up to do automatic reconnect. So what you're going to see here, what you're going to see here in just a minute is the orange will go out and it will be green on its own. There it is right there. Okay, so you saw how long that takes. That is not adjustable. So if you're out of cell phone coverage for more than like, I don't know, 20 seconds, maybe a little bit less, you're going to have just a green light by itself. No more in the pie. That means you can have the black box sitting on your dash or somewhere and you can see how small it is. I mean, you know, there's the size of my hand to the box. It's smaller than a credit card. And then if you bring your connection back up and you hit connect, okay, the hotspot is now connected. The software will recognize that and it will automatically reconnect to where you were anywhere between 20 seconds to probably less than a minute. It depends on how fast the DNS servers are going to pick this up. Verizon is very stringent with a double natted system so the IP address will change every time you connect and disconnect. And But Verizon has the best network by far with their 700 LTE so using anything else is, is going to be worse especially if you do a lot of traveling. Okay, there it is. It's already connected. So you can see that the amber, the orange, is lit continuously. The blinking green light is what's called heartbeat, or the HB underneath. That means you have a successful USB connection from the back of this box to the Raspberry Pi. Don't mind the white cable. That's the speaker. I should have that undone. But there's a 6-inch USB cable. There's my battery pack running it just for this demonstration. So anyway, we're going to call this uh, the Radioless version 2. And uh, there was a, a, a USB audio interference issue with the mic bias 5 volts that powers the microphone. That has been fixed. Audio is crystal clear now, and we thought it was before, but now it certainly is. And then we have the, uh, the dual color LED. So all you have to see is the black box. You can separate this from the pie, put the pie underneath, glove box underneath your seat, whatever, and have the black box by itself. So that's it. This is Chris, AB7BS, Eugene, Oregon, allstarnodes.com, showing uh, version 2 radioless node.